good morning dear students hope you have gone through the introduction uh, on robert frost he is a new england poet a modern romantic poet a farmer poet who won four a uh, pulitzer prize four times and you are familiar with many of uh, many many of his poems are very uh, familiar to you you might have learned in the school days you know like stopping by the uh, woods in the snowy evening or birches mending wall you know so they are very popular you know his poems they begin in delight and ends in wisdom right you now there is a piece of wisdom some lesson that he wants to convey to his uh, readers the poem that uh, we are supposed to learn is a uh, road not taken the poem is very simple it begins in delight but ends in wisdom you know we find there is something um, very thoughtful about his poems you know there is something that uh, we uh, will reflect on after reading the poem Uh, so this particular poem a road not taken is about uh, life's uh, decisions i want all of you to take the poem we'll read the poem we'll make an analysis of it please uh, turn to the poem the road not taken and then we'll discuss the main themes that uh, runs throughout two roads diverged in a yellow wood and sorry i could not travel both and be one traveler long i stood and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wandered weir those as for that that passing weir had worn them really about the same and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black who oh, i kept the first for another day yet knowing how way leads on to way i doubted if i should ever come back i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and i took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference so the poet you know the setting of the poet like let's see the setting first you know it's a uh, cross road uh in the midst of woods the forest and there are two roads uh, full of leaves maybe it is suggestive of the autumn season uh the fall the roads are covered with leaves and it is yellow in color the leaves are yellow so it is suggestive of autumn season when the trees shed their leaves and it's early morning and no vehicles or no uh, cars or no but no passengers no uh, people uh, trod over those roads in the morning it's fresh so the leaves are fresh it is not trodden upon and this is the setting that we see and the poet at the cross road he is uh, confused about which road he need to take hmm, whether to take the first one or the second one and both the roads appear equally the same you know the undergrowth the bushes the shrubs the leaves on the road everything and it looks alike and he is not aware of the consequences of taking either of the roads so he says you know he chose one road over the other and then he says maybe after ages maybe after years you know i will think about my decision maybe with a sigh but at the same time he says you know and that choice that he has made in his life has made all the difference similarly you know what what we find is you know throughout the the whole poem you know it is metaphorical uh, we find uh, uh, like you know like, like the road it uh, it's a metaphor uh the you know uh, let, uh, let's see uh, stanza by stanza it has got a uh, four stanzas of uh, five lines each and we can make an appreciation later on two roads diverged in a yellow wood and so i could not travel both and it is very it is impossible to take both the uh, uh, roads together you know there are at at time at times you know um you will reach uh, 
such juncture in your life where you are supposed to take only one decision and you cannot actually revert it and you need to face the consequences likewise you know he says uh, he is supposed to take a decision now he could not travel both he cannot take both the roads and be one traveler long I stood and I, I stood there full on thinking about the consequences um, weighing the pros and cons of taking each road and look down as far as I could you know I was looking at the uh, end of the road as far as I could see and it was you know both were same to where it bent in the undergrowth and the, the bushes nearby you know the road um, the, like after some time it is the road is invisible you know the undergrowth and the shrubs are there then took the other I uh, looked at the first road and I looked at the second door, uh, second road, both are looking alike. Then took the other as just as fair, as fair as the first one. And having perhaps the better claim, maybe because, you know, uh, it was less traveled by. But at the same time, he says, you know, both road are, roads are same. In the morning, the leaves are all fresh because it was grassy and wandered via, though as for that, the passing there had one them really about the same. But the passengers, people used to travel both roads and it is equally, no, it, it is almost the same. And both that morning equally late. So the, the time of morning. And both are, both have uh, same claim over the point. In leaves, no step had road in black. So no passengers um, began their journey on that day. The leaves are all fresh on the ground. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way. I don't know where I am, uh, this road will take me. And I took the second one and I kept the first for another day. But I don't know if I'll be able to come back and to experience the other road, the consequences of taking the other road. But I kept it for another day. I don't know if I should ever come back. And I'm not sure that if I will ever come back to take the first road. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages since, two roads diverged in a wood and I took one less travelled by and that has made all the difference in the life, in his, in the poet's life, maybe in, in a negative way or in a positive way. Similarly, the, the decisions that we take, you know, it makes all the difference, the course that you have chosen for your degree, you know, the marriage that you choose uh, to have, you know, everything that you choose in your life, you know, you will uh, face the consequences. And some decisions, you know, it you cannot revert that. So the poet says, you know, maybe after ages and ages, you know, after years and years, years, I know I'll be thinking about this maybe with a sigh or sometimes with happiness that the road that I have taken, the less traveled road that I have taken and that has made all the difference in the poet's life. The poet might be thinking about, you know, he might be alluding to his own life's decisions. You know, he's actually a modern poet. He, he belongs to the modern era, but he actually chose to uh, write in the... Um, uh, romantic uh, strain he kept the romantic strain of his uh, predecessors he uh, no he had that romantic strain he didn't go after the modern uh, movements that we find in english uh, poetry um, imagist movement uh, concrete the I mean a uh, symbolist movement you know that was a uh, popular during his time maybe he is uh, talking about that uh, his decision to stick on to the traditional way of writing poetry or the old uh, romantic strain and uh, he didn't choose to be an experiment exper he didn't experiment with her uh, forms and maybe he's talking about that or maybe his personal decisions but anyways this poem is very simple but at the same very at the same time very beautiful and uh, meaningful please read the poem and make an appreciation of this poem and you can post it in the google classroom if you have any doubts uh, please ask me shall we read the poem once again please uh, take the text the road note taken by robert frost 
Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both. I be, and be one traveller, long I stood and looked down, one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other, as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted fear, though as for that the passing there had won them really about the same, and both that morning equally me. It leaves no step had trodden in black. Oh, I kept the first for another day, yet knowing how the way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Thank you.